Hey, welcome back to Bed Squid. On this channel, we do simplifying educational tech for you using the iPad. Today, I'm gonna to show you something really, really special. How do you send out automatic certificates to participants of your online quizzes, tests, or um, attendance certificates? Maybe you're doing um, classroom teaching online, distance learning, or maybe you're, you're training other people uh, and people who attend your online course, you wanna send out an automatic certificate for them. Uh, how do you do it? Actually, it's really super simple. I'm going to show you how it's done. Um, if you remember the last video, if you came across the last video, we done setting up a quiz or a test, online test using Google Forms. So we're going to go back to Google Forms. Let me jump on to Google um, uh, Forms. This is the form that we were dealing with in last uh, in, in the last video. And what I want to do here is I want this, this is an actual quiz, okay? So if I go to settings here and I go to quizzes, We've actually made this a quiz. This is a quiz, which means that there's a point score for every question that I'm asking. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna send out a certificate if the participants have achieved a particular pass grade, let's say 80% or 60% or something along those lines, okay? So here we go. Um, this is what you need to do, it's really super simple, okay? So first thing first, you could go ahead and if you have your own certificate, you could use that, okay, either in Google Slides or in Google Docs, or you could choose a template. You could just make one of the templates, okay? So what we're gonna do first is, I'm just gonna add a new um, tab here and we'll go to Google Slides, okay? And I'm just gonna create a template for a certificate. So here we go. Let's go to Google Slides really quickly. I'll show you how to do this uh, from, from the beginning, okay? So go to the template gallery and just keep scrolling until you find this student certificate at the bottom. There is an employee certificate here as well. Let's just stick with the student certificate. Remember, you can change these as much as you want, okay? So I'm gonna create this certificate here. And where is the student name? What you wanna do there is just delete that. Bring these brackets, okay, these set of brackets. I'm not talking about these brackets, nor am I talking about square brackets. I'm talking about these wiggly brackets, okay? I don't know what they're called. So bring a set of these two brackets and type in capital full name. And then again, bring those two brackets. What this is gonna do is gonna make a mail merge for the name of the person who has participated, okay? It says congratulations, fifth grade star of the week. Uh, actually, what this is, it's congratulations, for passing your online algebra test. And you guys are gonna be like, algebra test, <laughs> don't worry about it. You can, you can name it whatever you wanna name it, however it links to your online quiz or your online survey, yeah? So here, for volunteering to help classmates with math assignment, I'm just gonna say keep up the great work. Now listen, you can make this as creative as you want. It says school name. Twenty, yeah. Okay, so that is a certificate that I'm gonna uh, keep. I'm gonna, just gonna name this certificate, and it's in my drive. I'm saving that in my drive. Uh, I think that's cool. I'm gonna leave it to that. Let's go back to that um, form, the Google form that you're gonna be dealing with, and what we're gonna do is this. Okay, so click on these three dots, and then come down to add-ons. Okay, and on your add-ons, you're gonna uh, download this add-on called Certify M. Certify M. I've already installed it, so just click on it and go ahead and install it. When you, inst shall I uninstall it and show you? When you install it, it's just gonna ask you to log in, okay? Let me just uninstall it for now. This is an add-on to Google Forms, okay? G Suite's fantastic like that, and I'm working on an iPad. So you can add these add-ons to an iPad, you don't need Chrome extensions or anything like that. So again, I'm gonna to go to these three dots, I'm gonna to go to add-ons, let it load up, and then I'm gonna to go to certify them. You can search it if it doesn't come up, okay, just search over here. And then we're gonna install this, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna install this, and it's gonna run you through like signing in. Yeah, that's fine, I wanna sign in with this uh, account. Go down and say allow. And just follow the instructions here. Yeah, done, perfect. Okay, so that is now added to Google Forms. So it's this little um, puzzle icon here. So let's click on that puzzle icon and then I've got my certify them, okay? Uh, and you know what? You're gonna let it load up a few times. So we're gonna refresh this page. 
Okay, let me click on the puzzle again. Click on Certify Him. Now, I don't want the help. I want it to give me the options. Here we go. So it should show up like this. These are the options. And you want to click on this, Show Certify Him Controls. Go to the controls. You're going to change some of these controls, okay? So here it is. It loads up uh, in the corner here. And we're going to change some of these controls, okay? So here we go, look, we're gonna, first thing first, the status, you need to turn it on, okay? So here we go, we're gonna turn it on, and it says, please wait, it's just running its algorithm, it's gonna turn on Certify them for this particular Google form. Don't try to change any of these until it's actually done uh, turning on. So until it updates its settings, it says, please wait. So let's just wait for it to do that. While we're waiting, I'm going to show you a couple of things that you need to, you must do on the Google form, okay, your quiz or your certificate. You have to do an email entry and you have to do a name entry as well. Let's go back to the form here. We're going to say the passing grade. So this is where you can change the passing grade from 0 to 50 increments of 10 and then from 55, 60, 65 increments of 5, okay? So let's just say passing grade here of, I don't know, 70%. You can keep it as high or as low as you want. And then certificate, it says here template. I'm going to use a custom template. So you can use one of the templates that is built in on this add-on or you can use a custom template. So I'm going to go ahead and say I'm going to use a custom template. And this is going to ask me, hey, where's that custom template? I'm going to select my file. So my file is in my drive. Is this one here. We just named it as online certificate. So I'm going to click it and then I'm going to press select. And then I'm going to say save changes. So wait for that to save. Don't don't X out of anything because it's actually running in the background. So that's uh, changed it to online certificate. Now that's the file name that I'm going to be using and then go to advance. Okay, you have to go to advance and do a few more settings. Okay, so let this load up. Here we go. It's loaded up the advanced settings. What we're going to do here is we're going to enter all of uh, like the email body and the um, notification that the participants are going to get when they complete the form. Okay, so this uh, message shows up once they submit the form. It says, thank you for your submission. If you passed, you will receive a printable certificate shortly. Okay, so the sender is Beard Squared or whatever your name is. The subject of the email would be congratulations you passed okay that's what i'm saying here congratulations you passed the email body what, what's what am i going to say you can write whatever you want to write there so thanks for completing your grade a math test or thank you for your submission or thank you for completing uh, and then it says congratulations you passed see your attached certificate below well done Okay, and then it says, do you, you can send a BCC, a carbon copy to someone, a blind carbon copy. You can even send out an email to a failed exam attempt, okay? So it says, send email on attempt, not passing that 60 or 70% or whatever you've put as your threshold, uh, it'll still send it out. Then it says, send as, you can send it as an image or a PDF. We're gonna stick to PDF, they're a lot more easier to print off if uh, your participants do wanna print this off. And it says, send via, uh, you can send it straight to the Google Drive or you can send an email. So I'm going to say send email uh, and then whatever your time zone is, okay? So save changes. So now that's done, okay? What I'm going to do is you would typically now just send this out to your participants. So I'm going to say send and I'm going to get the email. You can shorten, it, shorten the email. Sorry, you can shorten the link okay to make it easier uh, when you send out so i've copied that link i'm just going to open up a new tab and complete that form so here we go i need to write in my email so i'm just going to type in my email here okay my name and then i'm going to complete the form and then here's the message it says Unit 1 Fractions 101, thank you for your submission. If you passed, you will receive a printable certificate shortly. I could go ahead and, of course, see my score. Oh, I've got 5 out of 5. That's brilliant. And then the participant can see what they've done right and wrong. I'm going to go down here and just see what's going on. And then shortly, I should receive a ping in my email saying that I received a certificate. So let's go ahead to my email here. You can see uh, Beard Squared. It says, congratulations, you passed. Thank you for completing your Grade 8 Math Algebra Test. Congratulations, you've passed. See your attached certificate below. Well done. And here you can see, look at this. 
It says, congratulations for passing your online algebra test. And it gives me my name there. Look, there's my name. Uh, keep up the great work. And then it says, Baird Academy, where's the Baird? Da, 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 da. Automatically generated uh, certificate. You can make it look as fantastic and fancy as you like. Uh, of course, whether you're dealing with elementary or you're dealing with uh, high school or diploma kids, or whether you're dealing with adults doing, you know, participating in your training course, you could send out a certificate for maybe a certificate of attendance. And it says here, this email was uh, sent automatically using Certifym for Google Forms. It's one thing for students or adults or whoever it is participating in your forms, but for them to automatically generate a certificate in their inbox, that is exciting, huh? That is... Um, building a rapport and it's really engagement for your students or for your participants in that case. Um, I hope you do find that uh, exciting. And as always, if you found it helpful, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing, turn on notifications. It helps the algorithm push the videos forward. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one.